Welcome to the Gospel of Luke. We're in Luke chapter 10, and today verses 10 to 12 as we're continuing to work our way through this uh, remarkable one of the four Gospels. But whatever city you enter and they do not receive you, go out into its streets and say, the very dust of your city which clings to us we wipe off against you. Nevertheless, know this, that the kingdom of God has come near you. But I say to you that it will be more tolerable on that day for Sodom than for that city. Well, this isn't all peaches and cream, is it? This isn't all joy and uh, hallelujah. It's kind of interesting. We just saw yesterday morning that when you go to a place, you know, you, you eat what they set before you and you tell them, you heal them and you tell them the kingdom of God is near. Now, here's another case. What happens when you go somewhere into a city and they do not receive you? And you just walk away. Uh, 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 no, you don't just walk away. In fact, if you've been a faithful witness and they are rejecting truth, then what? Here's an example of going out and symbolically taking their shoes off and knocking the dust off their shoes and walking away. They're leaving behind sort of a condemnation. Why? Well, because people are rejecting truth. They're rejecting light. They're rejecting Jesus. That is condemnable. We're not anxious to take this step. We're not looking for this. But uh, there are times when in order to get people to rethink, they may need to realize I've been all wrong. And these people that are from God, if, they have, if there's a conviction, a part of a conviction there, and these people shake the dust off their shoes and walk away, you know, that might actually help some people cross the line. God's first motivation is not is not a fear motivation, but fear is one of the legitimate human motivations. It's a good thing when you see a train coming and you step off the railroad track, right? Because you fear being crushed and destroyed by the train. It's appropriate sometimes to react from fear. God designed us this way. It's not a bad thing. Jesus says it'll be more tolerable in Sodom and Gomorrah on that day, the day of judgment, than it will be for someone who rejects the kingdom. There it is, a word from Jesus. There are times we need to tell people quite plainly, you're off the tracks, you're wrong. You're rejecting eternal life. You're rejecting eternity from a loving God who wants only to do good for you. There's a place to warn people like that. Let's pray. Father in heaven, help us to be careful and faithful in our warnings. And sometimes the truth is that people are rejecting eternity and they need to know it because maybe it's not too late for them. So sometimes, Lord, this is going to be your plan for us. Help us to follow your counsel as it properly applies. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, friend, we're winning souls and there are going to be different motivations in different situations. Sometimes they're even this uncomfortable. And yet this is the word of God. God's blessing be with you.